going to show y'all how to get to your preferences and change your online settings to like so people um so only certain people can see your friends list and stuff like that so first of all you would want to go to your dashboard so you just go ahead and click the guide button and press y to go to your dashboard then go up to my xbox and click on your own name then you go over about two to your online safety settings and change the settings simple as that go to customize and you can customize your voice and text which means who can send you messages and and maybe even whether you can send out messages I think I'm not very sure on that one you can also do video communication such as connect you know or the webcam uh, what was it called um, gosh if I can't remember it oh well anyways then there's also your privacy settings so like your profile who do you want to see your bio right, let's go ahead and go up and actually see what this means you can do everyone friends only or blocked for most of these and I think it goes down for just about all of them um, anyway so the privacy part goes to like profile sharing connect sharing your history for your games and online statuses etc so your profile sharing that includes your bio and everything in that area so whenever someone clicks on your name and looks at all the info that's on your um, account then you have connect sharing which that's applicable if only if you have a connect of course where the video game will take your connect experiences and just put them online somewhere I think yeah because it's being shared outside of Xbox Live um, all right, I think that also includes information through Connect too, such as your like your progress being tracked on a website. All right, and now your game history is like your achievements or your gamer score basically. Whenever they go into your, if you set this to no nobody, which would be blocked basically, then whenever someone tries to go look at your game gamer score, they'll see zero gamer score for all the games that you played basically. No, actually, um, to be more precise, they won't see it, anything, period, I believe. Um, and basically, only the games that, unlike whenever you go to look at the person's game history, basically, or your achievements, all you'll see is little dashes next to all of your video games. So it doesn't really let you even know what video games the other person has at all. Then you have your online status. So deciding who can see whether you're online or not this is pretty much what it means then you get your video and music status so whenever you go to Zune or anything of that sort you can set this to blocked and no one can see what you're doing then of course the most notorious your friends list this used to be on a well this used to be on the profile settings where you would go and set your privacies but they moved it so that people don't know exactly how to do this anymore and I think that Xbox did it on purpose and came with the update so anyways if you go over here and you go to blocked and then only then nobody can see your friends on your friends list which is really good if you like friends who are really picky and like to go into your friends list and do things that they shouldn't be doing in the first place anyways voice data collection I'm not very sure what Microsoft actually does with this or whether they even use this, but basically it doesn't really affect you at all. Then your content, your I don't ever mess with the content. I uh, always have explicit content allowed, I mean seriously. It, it would be really bad if you went ahead and accidentally made that not allowed. Basically these are either allowed or blocked so you got member content so for example maps that you can get in Halo 3 or uh, I mean Halo Reach where you can just go download them or you know in Black Ops you can go into the file share and get other people's stuff you got profile viewing whether they uh, well I mean this is basically for children this means that like for the child accounts you know what they can't what they can and can't do for other people as far as communicating 
Um, and then, of course, contact preferences, which is Xbox marketing and partner marketing. Third party is like third party publishers or like the game producers and everything that sort. And Xbox marketing is basically what Microsoft decided to put up in, into the. I think it's either they'll send it through you to email. I don't think it's anything to do with the dashboard. Anyways, that's where this is where all the privacy settings are now. And thank you for watching this. Subscribe.